Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Roll em If You Got Em. Today we are going to take a look at some of the first prints to come off of my Anycubic M5S that I've recently just received, and these are with the high speed resin. So, as always, I'm joined with Dakota. Hey everybody. Um, this first print here, this was just like the basic Anycubic test sort of print that comes uh, preloaded onto the flash drive. And I just ran it. I didn't mess with any settings. I didn't, I literally just picked high speed resin and sent it and was like, okay, like, let's see what happens here. And this thing came off the printer in like, like 32 minutes, I think. And it's, I mean, it's, it's probably a couple inches high here compared to like a space Marine. Um, the bottom is kind of super chewed up because the supports that they come, the supports that it came with were pretty insane. I was like grinding this thing on a table, rubbing it back and forth, trying to break supports off. And this is uncured resin. It's, and it is pretty stout. Um, I haven't actually cured any of this stuff yet, but to get into the video here, so we have models that are off of my previous uh, um, Frozen Sonic Mini 2K printer, and then we have some of the new models off of the 12K printer here. So, Dakota doesn't know which is which yet, so I'm going to hold up uh, two models here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It is... Uh, First impressions. Don't hold back here. Um, first impressions. I mean, yeah, they're. I mean, I think kind of strangely, both look pretty good. I know I'm trying. I'm viewing this through a camera, so it is hard to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Um, but it does seem like there are some slight differences, but not a um, ton, right? Between the two, but not a ton. Yeah. Okay, so this hand here. Uh huh. These are the new 12K. Mm -hmm. um models so if i get yeah. the lighting right you you can see some lines uh -huh, yeah. and stuff on them which are actually it's about the same as the 2k mm -hmm. so i think this is the explanation for this that's why we're doing part one i think these it's a limitation of the files that i printed these are free stls that i got off of um uh the internet and honestly i think they they both look pretty uh they both look good like by all yeah. means i don't think either yeah. of them look bad they just right. i don't think there's a huge difference between the 2k and the 12k here now i mm. do plan to do some more things with uh some better quality prints i know i'm printing uh the uh is it in Immaterium gods, uh, they're essentially yeah, they're their uh, their plague burst crawler. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then I was thinking about printing one track on the 12k and then another track on the 2k and see the difference between the two. Um, these guys, I was using light supports. I pretty much always go with medium supports on the 2k mm -hmm. printer. This is the medium supports on the 12k. I, I demolished this guy trying to get supports off. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks Absolutely. like Absolutely. Ugh. That probably came through. Um, Absolutely chewed this guy up trying to get yeah. supports off. And you can see I, I didn't even I didn't even get him. Uh-huh, yeah. That was yeah, my you... biggest takeaway thus far. After this thing, I'm assuming was defaulted with medium supports because this was just uh -huh. a file. I didn't even like load this into the slicer. Did this guy with medium supports in. Yeah. I mean, just... yeah. They look, uh, they look beefy. They look like you definitely can't get them off maybe without trying to cut them. But at that point you don't want so to cut them. This, this head here, I was taking uh -huh. my hobby knife trying to not cut myself getting these off uh -huh. and I said screw it I'm just gonna print new heads because <laughs> these are I mean I mean like th that's that's 
causing physical pain to my fingers here <laughs> trying to get yeah. these supports off. They're nuts. This one, there's a piece of a uh, dried speed paint on here, I think. This one here is uh, with the <laughs> light supports. The light supports seem to do just fine. See, just pop that one off. The light supports seem to do just fine with uh, the 12K. But that is my biggest takeaway thus far with the uh, the 12K is that the support settings, if anyone has this thing and hasn't ran it yet, let me know what you think. But so far, um, the medium supports, the default settings are crazy. Uh, the light supports seem to be pretty well. That is one more point mm -hmm. I will make about the 12K versus 2K here. I have spent many hours honing this 2K printer to get settings mm -hmm as close to perfect as I was capable of. Um, and these make me feel really good that I did a really good job with those settings, seeing them compared to the 12K. Now, these are just default settings. I literally didn't change exposure time. I didn't run exposure test. I didn't do anything. I just hit go. So I'm super happy about that. Yeah, they look pretty good for just hitting go. Just hitting go. And I didn't even level the mm -hmm. build plate, which felt like I flipped through the instructions like three times because I was like, okay, I have to be missing something here. Uh, but yeah, no, it says like, it's like a leveling free system and it, it is, and it's awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let us know what you guys so think. I, oh, go ahead. Uh, I have, I have some one question for you. So I know you said you used different resin you're using like high speed resin or something like that correct is there do you think there is going to be a difference in quality once not using that i'm guessing the high speed you get less detail even out of that but it it works quicker while using regular is potentially yeah well better. it'll be like better quality we'll see but it'll take, take you slow, take you more time um we'll see i because i ordered the high speed resin not realizing how expensive it was i thought the buy two get one I thought you got two bottles for 50 bucks. I was like, well, this is amazing. Well, it's not there. $50 a piece tomorrow. Mm -hmm. My second and hopefully third bottles are showing up at the same time. Um, I've emailed any cubic. I put it in the notes when I ordered like, Hey, I talked to so-and-so and they said to just order another one and they'll send a second or a third bottle technically with mm -hmm. it. And I don't know. I, I will say that I have not been, uh, really blown away by any cubics customer service over my little resin debacle. <laughs> um, they did really well with the printer though, because I ordered the printer and the washing cure and the washing cure got here. And I was like, uh, it's just one order. Like it says it's delivered, but I don't have a printer. And I emailed them. They're like, no, no, like here's a second separate shipping for your printer. It'll be there in a couple days. I was like, okay, sweet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we will see. Um, once I'm through with the high speed resin, I will not continue purchasing fifty dollar a bottle resin. I will say though, these guys. All right. Frozen Sonic Mini. This is like a couple hour print. Okay. Maybe maybe even more off the check to be sure, but I know it's a while. These guys. I started the print. I went upstairs and made pizza rolls. I came downstairs, and my prints were finished. And I was like, listen, Mr. Printer, um, you're going to get me in trouble with my wife if I sit here and play with my printer all day because these <laughs> were like 20-minute dudes here. Right, yeah, yeah. That's pretty That's pretty nuts, So getting printing done in 20 minutes. I mean, obviously, if you're sitting there like, ah, I'd like to print up an army to play in a few days, you could just kind of hit, hit the button and it just goes. I, but... will, I will say... I hadn't noticed this before. There's some delamination right here. See that? Mm -hmm. Well, just a little bit. I don't know if that is hollow in there or if it just flaked off a little. It looks like it's kind of like that on the other side also. I don't know if that's because these models have been done for a few days and I haven't cured them. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Something to note and to uh, check out in the future. 
and maybe someday we'll get supports off of this guy. I just gave up because it was crazy. All right, well, you guys, let us know what you think. You think that, um, you know, maybe my settings are just too perfect on the 2K. If you have any experience out there with the uh, high-speed resin, let me know. And um, we're going to have more on this, trying out some more quality files, I believe. I think that'll be super important. Um, like this guy. I've been thinking about printing a second one of these on the 12K. This is on the 2K. Uh, this is supposed to be a, a chaos spawn proxy, essentially. So right. might mm -hmm. print up another one of those guys or something similar to him. But all right, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks. Bye.